Warning. The message you are about to hear are the views of the Oklahoma Tomcat and are not supported by the government. Agreeing with this message could cause you to be targeted by the government, government agencies, and liberal advocates. You have been warned. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How is everyone doing? Here at the Jones family, we've been, uh, all been, uh, sick. <laughs> um, and I'm still recovering from, uh, whatever it was I had. So please, uh, forgive me for the, uh, coughing and, uh, the sound of, uh, the, <laughs> the sound of my voice. <coughs> But, uh, I really wanted to get this blog out because, uh, it's on a topic that really concerns me. I've been hearing a lot about it, and that is a constitutional convention of the states. Now, let me hit a little bit on the, uh, what this is all about. For those of you that may not know... Article 5 of the Constitution gives a way for the Constitution to be changed. Article 5 of the United States Constitution describes the process whereby the Constitution may be altered. Altering the Constitution consists of pro proposing an amendment or amendments and subs subsequent ratifications. Amendments may be adopted and sent to the states for ratification by either a two-thirds uh, vote of both the Senate and the House of Representatives or by a national convention assembled at the request of the legislators of at least two-thirds of the states. Two thirds of the states would be 34 states. And that is what the big movement is. And there are so several things that is causing this. Uh, the number one is our budget. People are starting to wake up and see that the federal government is just out of control with their spending. Uh, and with uh, keeping the budget. And the bad thing is a lot of that is being hidden from us. Uh, the federal government is not being very honest with our debt and spending. <coughs> the other thing is uh, uh, people are starting to wake up to see that the federal government is out of control with the amount of power is grabbing, and how many, how much rights are being taken away from the states, and what people are wanting is to, or a lot of people are wanting is to uh, call a con uh, constitutional convention and have the states gather to amend the constitution. What they are failing to see is the root problem of what, how the government, federal government has gotten so out of control. And this is why I am against the Constitutional Convention. First of all, let's take a look at the real simple thing here. The federal government is not following the Constitution. 
What is a constitutional convention going to do? What is amending the Constitution going to do? Is it going to solve the problem? And the answer is no, because the government is not following the Constitution. You see, the problem is not the Constitution. The problem is the people we have in government. We have lawlessness in our government. There is so many things that the, the government is disobeying when it comes to the Constitution. They, let's take a look at the budget. The budget is not balanced. We're going further and further and further in debt. The government is spending money on things that are unconstitutional. And we, uh, even our tax code is unconstitutional. The government is not supposed to be asking you for per, your personal information. So, what, what is amending the Constitution going to do? There's not any part of the Constitution that the government is now following. Articles 1, 2, and 3 is just totally thrown out the window. Amendment, the Tenth Amendment is not followed at all. So what is adding other amendments going to do? Our second amendment isn't followed. Our first amendment isn't followed. What? I don't see at all where even if this was done right, which I'm going to get into why and another reason I'm against this. Even if this is done right, and good amendments is added to the Constitution. I don't see where the federal government is even going to follow it. I, I just don't see it at all. So on that alone, I am against this. I, I say we need to get the federal government to follow the Constitution before we even think about changing the Constitution. Let's get into the second reason why I am against this. <coughs> what amendments are going to be added? People, our root problem is the people that's in office. Who put these people in office? We did. So, who are we going to ha send to represent us for this cons uh, constitutional convention? That person is going to be the, a person we elected. If we can't get people in Washington, D.C. that follows the laws and looks out for our true freedom... How are we going to send someone to change the Constitution, to change the law, to give the people in Washington, D.C. more power? Once that, those laws are in the Constitution, it's law. That's it. No judge can change that. Because you have changed the law that the judges are supposed to go by. That will be it. We got people, we are electing people that are greedy for money and power. We elected those people. I don't trust that we're going to send the right people to change our constitution. I don't trust it. <coughs> so, what, 
why why would they do this? Why would we change the law that first of all government ain't following anyway, and second of all that would be chased by the people that we are electing. And I see this list of uh, I I did a little looking up on exactly what we are uh, wanting to change, and most of it is. You know, the budget and things like that. <clears throat> Income tax. Great. I could just see what would be changed on that. I mean, do you really think that the income tax would be changed to... lessen it. School management. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, people. I don't see any good coming out of this. I, I see it as being a very dangerous thing. Because you would think that the states would want more rights and that they would go up there and uh, amend the Constitution to give states even more rights and to uh, limit the spending of uh, the federal government. But keep in mind that there are a number of states that actually want a stronger federal government. States have gotten greedy too. And states want more of that federal money. So I don't see the budget even being worked out. When all these states are like, we want this, 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 we want this. And then you have a lot of special interest groups that are buying out our elected officials, aren't they? You don't think they'll be attacking those uh, representatives that we're sending? Of course they will. As soon as they find out who is going to that constitutional convention, those special interest groups will be all over. They'll put the federal government in charge of lots of things. Put it in that constitution that the states must do this. The federal government must do this. Think of all the special interest groups out there. Granted, you may be uh, like one of them. But how many of them are you against? And think, those guys will still have, will be there just as much as those guys that you do like. <coughs> At Cuts Constitutional Convention. It's open door on that Constitution to be rewritten, to be amended. We have too many greedy people right now to have this convention give us more freedom because everybody's going to want a piece of the pie and when you give somebody else a quote unquote right to take away someone else's money, property or freedom you take away everyone's freedom This Constitutional Convention is bad news. I am against it. This is not the time to be doing it. Let's work on getting people to vote for those that will give us true freedom.
let's get people to become educated about what's in the Constitution now, right now, and vote for those that will obey that Constitution. Until then, there is no way we can rewrite that Constitution. The original Constitution was a true miracle. The Constitution we have now is a miracle. Because those men that convened to draft up this Constitution knew what tyranny was. They knew how bad government can be. They knew human nature. They knew what power could do to someone. We don't know that now. We don't. Oh, we can holler about large corporations and the greed of the rich and all that, but we fail to look at the greed of the poor and how voters could be bought out. That's why we're in the mess we're in now. It's great that people are waking up to it. The problem is that the people do not see the root cause of why we're in the mess we're in now. Until we can pick that out and recognize it and fix it, rewriting the Constitution is not the answer. We have to recognize that we have a disobedient Congress, not a deficient con Constitution. We need to vote the bad people out of office and vote good people in. And we need to vote not for our own greed, but for true freedom. This is Oklahoma Tomcat. Take care and God bless. This is the most transparent administration in history. Not even a smidgen of corruption. Fact is, we had four dead Americans. What difference at this point does it make? If you got a business, you didn't build that.
not interested in uh, uh, photo ops.